Hey everybody, welcome into this Adobe Premiere Pro video editing tutorial brought to you as always by tutvid.com. My name is Nathaniel Dodds and now today we're going to take a look at uh, color grading, but sort of like a more advanced, I would say also slightly more precise color grading for you, especially if you're a beginner or especially if you have some skills or some experience using Photoshop. We can create something called a lookup table using Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to do it and everything there is to know about it right here and right now. All right, here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, I don't know about you, but when I see the backside of several elephants walking down a path, it makes me think of color grading. Now, we're going to go ahead and color grade this particular clip using a color lookup table. Now, what I want to do is I want to look across my clip and find a, a frame that's representative of, like here, I've got, I've got colors of the savanna grass and the walkway and the elephants and everything. I think this will be a good shot to take into Photoshop and apply our color grading to this, create our color lookup table, and then bring that into Premiere Pro. How do we do that? Well, using the hotkey shift E, or you can hit the little camera icon, export frame, right? See the hotkey shift E? I don't know if you can see that, right? Shift E. Yeah, it's just off. It's just out of my magnifier. What in the world? All right, we hit the little camera icon, and I'm going to name this, um, I don't know, grade reference or something. And the format, I'm going to save it as JPEG. Could go anything. I'm rolling with JPEG because I know I'm opening this in Photoshop. And I'm going to save it right to my desktop. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to take a split second. Boom, it's exported. We jump over to Photoshop. That's right. We go File. We go New. We go to the desktop. Well, where's the desktop? Let's bring the desktop in here. There's the desktop. And there it is, gradereference.jpg. Go ahead and hit Open. And here it is. So now that we have this in Photoshop, it's a locked background layer, which we need in order to export a color LUT. By the way, if, you, if you're working on something and you don't have a locked background layer, I'm just going to unlock this. It's a not a locked background layer. Just do something like Layer, New, background from layer, boom, you lock the background layer. All right, on to more important things. Let's go ahead and apply a levels adjustment layer above this, and I'm going to select the black output levels, and I'm going to drag this up. It's effectively going to reduce contrast and brighten the image. We're doing that because the next uh, adjustment layer is going to be this guy right here, the channel mixer. See, it's like the three colors all mixed together. Channel mixer, I'm going to set this to monochrome. Uh, I kind of like the way it looks, and I'm going to set it to a blend mode of multiply. Now, you can see that this is sort of dulling and flattening the colors, but it's kind of cool as well. Um, now, what I can do is go back to my levels adjustment here, and I can boost contrast a little bit. I still don't know if I want to boost the whites. I might still want to reduce the whites a little bit and darken the overall picture. And then we can come in with something... Man, with we could try color balance. I almost want to go photo filter. I'm going to go photo filter. I'm going to put this on top of everything. And we're going to really tick on preserve luminosity. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with just a 85 warming filter. That's fine. I'm going to just punch the density up a little bit. So you can see there's before, there's after. Looks kind of cool. Um, all together, if we shut these three adjustment layers off, if I can get them all to go off, you can see there's before. And if I turn them all on, there's after. So we're really adding this like cinematic element to our film footage. And it's really easy if you have any experience in Photoshop to quickly add these custom cinematic looks to your Premiere Pro document. Now, here's what we need to do. Select the top adjustment layer, hold down shift, select the bottom adjustment layer. This is more force of habit. I don't actually think you need to select all the adjustment layers, but I always do anyway. And then go file, export. Color lookup tables, right? Look at that. Color lookup tables. Interesting. Go ahead and select that. And um, I want to export the 3D L. That's what I'm interested in. I don't really need the cube. You can select both if you want. I'm going to go with a high quality. 64 grid points usually works great. You can apply copyright data if you want or copyright information, excuse me. And you can punch in a description too. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to ask me for a file name and where I want to save it. I'm going to just call this elephant colors. Uh, dot LUT. I'm going to save it right on my desktop just for simplicity's sake. Go ahead and choose save. We can close Photoshop at this point. I'm not going to because I'm going to go back to Premiere Pro. And now what we want to do is select our uh, our clip and we're going to go to the color workspace right up here is the color workspace. And when I select that, what it's going to do is it's going to bring the Lumetri color panel in over here on the right side, right? Lumetri color. And when we begin messing with this stuff, when we have a video clip selected, it's going to apply over here in the effect controls. You'll see it pop up over here, the Lumetri color effect. Now we're going to go to the creative tab, all right? This is where we're working and we have all these looks. So all these looks built in. I'm not interested in any of that junk. I want to choose browse because browse is going to allow me to find my custom LUT. 
See that? See what happened over here? We just got this Lumetri color effect that dropped in place, right? And there we go. We've got the .3DL or the .cube. I'm going to go with the .3DL. I'm going to hit open, and you're going to see that our color LUT is applied to our video footage. At this point, we can reduce or increase the intensity. I kind of like the intensity right where it is. I might go to basic correction and do something like just reduce contrast a little bit more, maybe boost I boost the blacks a tiny, tiny bit, something like that. If I absolutely wanted to, you can shift color balance around as well a little bit if you think it needs it. Uh, and that's it. We've just like that. We have color graded this footage using a custom color lookup table from Adobe Photoshop. Now you guys know I like to drop longer tutorials. I almost feel guilty. This one's only like five, six minutes long, but hey, I guess that's a good thing. You get to just bam, hammer right through it. Get to the point, right? Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a little comment down below. Smash the thumbs up button for this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the little red subscribe button. You'll never miss another video editing tutorial in the future. And boy, does that sound like a beautiful thing. For creating a custom color lookup table in Photoshop and importing it to Premiere Pro and just getting these smooth and rich and beautiful cinematic color tones. Oh, it makes it makes my heart sing when I see a beautiful cinematic image come together. Ah, I just love it. For doing all of that in Premiere Pro and more. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.